He's in Where it. are you right now, dude? He's in the fucking zone. He's in the zone. He's in the zone. I like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, word stuff. Oh, my God. Dead stare. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Table Talk, where we talk about questions, topics, things, and stuff uh, on reddit.com slash r slash sourcefed or on Twitter. Is he just still staring at the no, camera? I'm broken. I'm in Facebook. the zone. I'm here now. I'm here with you. Using the hashtag Table Talk. My name's Philip DeFranco. I'm My Steve. name's Harley. Oh! <laughs> Interception. Boom. Got you. Number two. You know what? It's not important. You know who I am. This man mm. is the star of the hour right now. Special I'm guest. I'm the guest of honor. Yeah. I feel like I should have worn like a bedazzled shirt to stand out right I know, next to right? you. Right no, now. no, this is cool. You got your SpongeBob uh, cup over yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's uh, my little, what, what is it? My little flare. The one thing. So people are like, what is that about? Yeah, I have like that? six things. <laughs> yeah, you have this it This is right me now. trying to be ugly, by the way. He's doing it pretty well. Yeah. He's like too many, too many people throwing themselves at me. Yeah, like it's should, obnoxious. Should, should I put my hair in a ponytail? Do you want to? No. All right. I don't know why you would throw that up as a possibility. Well, no, I would do it. Jesus. I didn't want to, but I was asking you if you, you wanted me to do it, I would do it for you. Do you have one of those things to wrap it up? Yeah. Look how messed up it is. You I totally do. do. I've been like, I've been bashing this thing up real bad. Basically, oh, I'm well. just trying to been trying to be like Steven Seagal. Sure. Just like him. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Except <laughs> I can't kick anyone's ass. I'm like fat Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal like 2010, where he's like fat and gross with a beard. <laughs> Wait, but Steven Seagal now is doing the splits on the truck and stuff? No, that's Jean-Claude Van Damme. That's Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean Damn. Welcome born, to Table born, Talk. You were born in 91? <laughs> when were you born? Well, yeah, what? Dude, I'm older than you. No, you're not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, How, why, totally why would you mess that up then? That's I know. So you know, it's long. It's been a day. You know How crazy I mean? is it that this guy's older than me, and I look like I'm 12 <laughs> years older than him? You guys yeah. know how this show works. We're gonna reach into this bowl <laughs> and uh, get some topics. Yeah, but, but oh, wait, you want guess the water? water. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. guess the water. Go ahead. Okay, sure. Uh oh. Do I, do I read it out? Yes, yeah. please. All right. Name and then question or whatever the hell it is. Juan Alaya, if you could create one food product, one, if you could create one, uh, uh, he's drunk. Uh, delete that file. There's no. Cuts. If you could create one product, what would it be and what would you call it? I would call it a fast food lasagna, and I already did it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Next. That's genius. Yeah, why yeah. Is it, we why already does did it. We already did it. I have like, come on. Don't ask me about food. There's 250 videos up right now. 250 videos of meals that have never existed before. If it's something that I wanted to do, trust me, I fucking did it. Can okay? I throw an idea? Which, what I better have in here is an idea for a meal. I want to throw mm, an idea sure. for a meal at you really yeah, quick. Okay. I'm talking. You're going to offend uh, me if I already did it. I hope I don't. I'm going to be like, how did you not watch every single one of my videos? I have watched every one, so I'm okay. sure it's not in there. It's a personal... A uh, pack that you get like at a fast food restaurant. You go to your Carl's Jr. and you go, I want this. It's like, you know how they have the little cheesecake in the wrapping and you pull the seal off and it's a delicious cheesecake in there? <laughs> what are you talking so, about? what I'm talking about is. Never got cheesecake at a fast food place. Before. Well, I know. It's probably not cheesecake, is why. Yeah. But okay, so this is what it is. May Actually, you know what? Dairy Queen is what I'm thinking. It's Oreo cookies. Oreo cookies. All right. Sealed up. Yeah. And over here is a big dunker. Oh. Trademark. Okay. And it's like icing, or it's like You mean like Nutella. Dunkaroos? Dunkaroos, It's like yeah. Dunkaroos, but with Oreo cookies. So wait, wait, so you took two <laughs> trademarks, mixed it into one, yeah. and you're like, trademark. Yeah, because Boom. those guys are too stupid to do Diet that Diet Coke thing. Twix trademark. <laughs> trademark Got that it. right now. So what it is, it's like each one is different. You could have ice cream in there, you could have sprinkles. First of all, it's a phenomenal idea, but I don't need to do it for you. You could just get stoned and go and get like cream cheese and Oreo cookies, That's put them together. Work, and. dude. Isn't that too much work? You're right, you're too right. Shot. But here's a, here's a great idea that we've been saving on Epic Meal Time that I'm trying to figure out how to do. Computer lasagna. I know. Not to be confused with lasagna computer. There are two different meals. Okay. Gonna figure it out. When I figure that out, you'll see it. It'll I have be no cool. idea what you're wow, talking about. I'm into yeah, it. I got this one right here. I thought my last one wasn't good enough. Go for it, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you forward. could have a Popeye-like ability, what would be your spinach? Would you get strength in, or another power? Wow. So then like, what do I eat to kick people's asses? Mm -hmm. It would like, it would get y'all muscular. And I big. can say whatever I want on your show? Anything, anything you want. Yeah. We're about to test it. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I, I'd eat cocaine, I guess. <laughs> I guess that is probably the closest Isn't thing to like spinach Popeye, for Popeye. That already yeah. is the thing, though. Yeah. Like That's it's, already the thing yeah. you need to fuck so up So what would about. mine be? I like something different? <laughs> no, it would, be, it would be like cocaine. Cocaine lasagna? Yeah. Cocaine lasagna. Oh my god. Why not you mixing not to be confused food. with lasagna cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, had to give up bacon or booze, which would you choose? I would give up I would give up booze. Yeah? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
Really? Because, yeah, I'll explain. Um, uh, uh, booze will kill you much faster than bacon, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You I, don't think, have to... I think maybe you say that just because you're a giant person who can probably... No, handle but... a lot of bacon? <laughs> handle a lot of bacon. Let's get yeah. the Mythbusters the involved in this. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. For a guy like Let's this? Let's throw it at the Mythbusters. Well, like, and just feed someone bacon yeah, and booze, we'll be... which kills them first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd, give up, I'd give up booze. I could, do, I could do it without the booze. I mean, there's a million other things that could replace booze, mm. you know? And there's not really a million other things that could replace bacon. Yeah, yeah like, they still There's, like, turkey bacon and, and stuff, and but, I'm not going to yeah. bash turkey bacon. It's actually not that bad, but, like... But they still haven't created something that tastes like bacon that isn't bacon. Yeah. Like Everything has that like, weird, that weird artificial mm -hmm. thing. You know, they have like bacon soap, bacon band aids, bacon perfume. Mm -hmm. I get sent that shit all the time. Really? You must get other weird things. You must get like fucking little dolls of monkeys in business suits or something. I get, or, like I, I get, get, I get bacon monkeys. soap and stuff. Yeah, have you what? ever gotten the bacon soda? Yeah. Have you tried it? Yeah. It's like not that great. I feel like mm, you've had to, bad. you've had to have tried pretty much everything bacon. I did. Yeah, because yeah. it was like everyone was like, ah, ah, this will be a unique. Yeah. <laughs> and then they give it chocolate to you. covered bacon, and it's just like this tastes like fucking Monday morning. I don't want none of it right yeah. now. You know. Yeah. Anyways, um, oh, that was a question by uh, Catalisi. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, Randy Ziokoa. What actual food would you not eat even for all the money in the world? Dried papayas, dried apricots, they can go to hell. Fuck what? olives, fuck green olives, fuck really? black olives, dried fruits, none of it. I don't want any of it. How Wait. about you guys? What would you guys not eat? Hold on a second. I need to know why dried fruit. You don't like any dried fruit at all? It's just shit. They're just shit. But things. it's like it's like it's like beef. You're trying to convince me why I should like something that you like? That's true. That's a good point. Come on, bro. I you think know? I could though. Okay, go ahead. Have you? It's because it's like because you know what it is. It's like uh, beef jerky, but fruit. That's, that's terrible. A, yeah, I don't like that. No, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> is this you? Is your phone vibrating? No, it's you. Mine no. vibrated too. Oh okay. no! Uh, uh, you, you, let's you pull one up. Whole, I don't yeah. like olives at all. You guys like olives? Yeah, but green olives are the really salty ones. Though, but no, right? all green olives. You'll see them on a pizza. They take all the flavor. If you Black some, olives. You'll see them in a sandwich. They'll take all the if flavor. If you put if you put some cheese or something in an olive, it's okay. That's what oh, I thought. Oh yeah. No, but I don't. I just don't like it. I don't like where it, where it's coming from. I don't like cucumbers either. Does that mean you don't like mushrooms? Do you like too? pickles? I love mushrooms. Pickles? Is that, no cucumbers. Pickles is huh? okay. I'll you know I'll suck on a pickle while waiting for my actual meal to get mm. there. Wait, you know? but you if someone know, says pickle, do you, does is there a food that makes your mouth salivate? Uh, pizza, hamburgers. Really? Yeah. It's always like the it's like anything that reminds me of balsamic vinaigrette or some shit like that. Mm. I don't know. That's really weird. Mm. Anyway, like it gets your mouth moist. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, balsamic yeah, like little bread. Look, little... look at me again. It gets your mouth moist. Moist. <laughs> moist. <laughs> Sound bite. Uh, What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Turtle soup, I hated it. Like legit turtle soup? Like legit, I had full turtles in a piece, like a real turtle. And I had to like pull the skin off the bones, like snap Whoa, the shell open. What? And like put it in a soup just to realize that this is the worst that thing That was I've a Teenage had. Mutant Ninja Turtle one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I remember, I'm like, that's a fucking weird video. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. We actually, we did it for, it was like, oh, National Turtle Day coming up, guys, let's do something for it. So we're like, sure. And we start making the turtle like ripping skin off turtles. And I'm like, wait. You think National Turtle Day is probably like preserving turtles or sure. something. Yeah. And like, you know, I didn't even have to Google it to know that, yeah, what we were doing was really stupid. We were, <laughs> like, we're like, in commemoration of National Turtle Day, we're going to eat the last turtles in Montreal. But you were still showcasing the turtle on Turtle Day. Yeah, we and brought so awareness to turtles as a, think as a that, thing. Yeah. I don't think that's, that's the positive but side of that. Isn't there no such thing as bad PR? For turtles, that was For great turtles? PR that day. What turtle is like, yeah, PR. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they didn't want this. Hey, so one, the person that has the question is Titty McSwag. Yeah! So good job Great on rap that. name. In Obviously life, in life, and this isn't the question, in life, are 90% of the questions to you about food? Yeah. Does it make you hate stuff or are you no, just No, no, never, it? never. But there's just certain things like, uh, like, you like bacon? <laughs> it's like, hmm, yeah. how stupid of a fucking question. Mm -hmm. um, or, oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you said this question before the camera turned on. How much of the food do you actually eat? <laughs> Were you I making fun of that What question? I should have done, what I should have done, <laughs> is I should have had a frequently asked questions thing. I should have done that right Fuck, off the bat. Just write the, the FAQ. I what, a, a lot of the food we actually eat, there are times where we've given it to soup kitchens, there are times where we'll pack it up, put it in the fridge, and we'll mess with it as time goes on. And then there's times where it's just not safe. Like, whatever we don't finish, it's not safe to, like, keep and, uh, and have around, like, turtle soup in your in your fridge, and plus that was shit, like, you know, I made it, and I was like, pech, threw it So what did it taste like, what did turtle taste like? Swamp. How about this, how about this? I'm just gonna <laughs> ask you a question. What's the sloppiest thing, uh, 
a fan's ever done when he met you, he or she? She. It was a live show, and uh, she was like freaking out about all of us because it was like we're all there. And she's like, I need to, I need to do this for you. And she went and she like snapped off all of her fake oh, nails. Okay. Oh Jesus! And like just like put them in like a little like uh, paper towel and folded it up and like put it in my hand. She's like, please keep these. I'm <laughs> like, thank you so much. I, I still have them. <laughs> oh, Dude, you just no. got a gypsy curse. No, yeah. that's protection from a gypsy curse. Is it protection yeah, from a gypsy probably. curse? Yeah, probably. No, it made me fat. I feel like that was the curse. <laughs> I was going to say, are you that hanging on to them? That cursed me with fatness and, and hairiness. <laughs> why, are yeah. you hang, why are you hanging on to those? I can't. It's part of the curse. But the like, problem yeah, is, if he destroys them, he'll lose all his facial yeah. hair. But yeah. you can pass that curse along on to someone else if you gave someone else those nails. Yeah. yeah. Next live show. No, I, this is my burden. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I'll, I'll carry thought. it. Um, this is something I've been wanting to ask you personally, even off camera. What are your thoughts on those machines that you could just like throw a whole orange into? Boom, you got yourself a delicious smoothie. Throw some ice in there. Those, what are those, like a juicer? juicer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why did you just call it a juicer? Because <laughs> I don't thinks, know. He thinks I'm an idiot and I wouldn't know what a juicer <laughs> no, is. No, because like, I don't we know. We don't have those in Canada. <laughs> He's like, so we have this device. <laughs> you have this device. Do they have that in French Canada? Let me ask you that. Uh, they do. They do. What um, are your thoughts on those machines? Uh, le jouissoir? Yeah. That's what it's called in Canada. Is, uh, um, no, it's not called that. But uh, yeah, I have no thoughts on is, the is, is French okay. Canada the best or worst part of Canada? Uh, it depends. Like, are you going to the strip clubs? Because it's the best. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like that, I was like, oh. <laughs> I like that. I was like, I was like, ooh, science. <laughs> <laughs> science. You're pretty science of this. Uh, Vicente Sosa says, what's the worst cock block you've encountered slash committed? Ooh, oh, that's a great question. I'm a I'm a great uh, passer offer, so I'm not. I don't feel like I'm a cock block. Oh that's yeah, that's a good question. You, so you well, don't think you've ever cock blocked? Well, no. Well, no. I feel like I might. I may have cock blocked uh, Vicente Sosa, and he's like, <laughs> he's he like, bro, he's like, I'd love to see you lie he right now on the internet. <laughs> I would love to hear you deny the fact that you didn't cock block me. Mm -hmm. That's him calling you out. Um, cock block. Uh, see, like this is one thing that's a, a debate. Um, now, I love that your, your brother's just fucking is, nodding his head. He's is, like, is, tell the story! Ah, tell the story! Which one? You know one? Famous DJ one? That one? Okay. Oh. The, thing is, the thing is, like, what makes it a, a cock block a cock block? So here, for example, one time I, I, I found a girl and I brought her with me to my buddy's uh, hotel because mm -hmm. he was chilling there. A lot of people were chilling there. So I brought her there. And, uh, and he started like talking or they were chatting each other up and stuff like that, you know? And like, I didn't care, I was doing my thing. And when I was like, all right, time to go. And I saw her and I was like, let's do it. And she was like, sure, and she got up and she left. And then he texted me like, dude, you cock block. And I was like, no, I, I, I brought her with me and you chose to entertain her for however much time, that was cool. I got to hang out and just have some drinks, whatever. But like when it was time to go, like I was taking her with me. It wasn't like right. I was leaving her here and I already put the prior work in, I'm not gonna leave. And he was like, that's a cock block. And I was like, that's not a cock block. <laughs> that's not a cock block. I like, I brought it. And like, you know, if I if I gave it to you, that would be a, that would be a gift to you. I, it's not like I'm cock blocking you by just taking it back. What's you know? this it stuff? It sounds like it's you have weird, an item eh? that you brought in. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? For the viewers, let's act like he's saying it is the act <laughs> and not the, the human being. Yeah, exactly. We're talking about the sex of it. Right. Um, <laughs> anyways, I didn't even fuck her at the end of the day. Anyways. Did you feel bad? Is that why? No, there was never a point where it was like it was it was it was it wasn't like supposed to be a fucking or anything. It was just she was coming with me and I took her. And then like when I left, I didn't think like, oh, I'm taking her out of his grasp. Yeah. You know, that wasn't what I thought. I just did it. But he messaged me like, oh, cock block. That's bullshit. And I was like, cock block? Like, you don't even, you do don't you even imagine, know this person. Do you imagine that he saw it in the sense of someone brought pizza over, but then when they left, they, <laughs> they took, took the, pizza the pizza with them? <laughs> Dude, if, that's, if that was the case, I'm the asshole, because who would do that? Well, who brings, okay. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but, but to compare Dude, a human being to a pizza box? <laughs> what if it's your homemade pizza that you made and slaved over? It's your yeah. Well, you didn't creation. make it. No. What if you're the chef of the pizza? Why are we well, all saying it now? You're it fucking with my life. Hold on a second, though. It was the pizza. Wait, but he so because you were you were responsible for this person. Yeah, I was you weren't bring just her gonna back. leave her no, there. I was gonna bring her back. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. So what did he expect for you to leave her there and be like, oh well, let's see what happens. Maybe she'll get back okay. <laughs> well, I mean, who knows? <laughs> Maybe she left with me and she was like, damn, I, I like, and she was just being nice. Maybe she wanted to stay there. Well, she should have said so, right? She didn't though. Can I tell you guys about a major? Cock I think block? she wanted to hop up on the idea, but she didn't even do that either. Not that I tried to. It just it was just kind of like a cool thing. We we're hanging out, but. 
But like, anyways, I, I was called a cock block and it was like a debate. I was like, no, this is like, it was like next morning, like I'm reading my text messages out to the crowd of people, like my buddies, like, is, am I a cock block here? And it was just kind of like up in the air. But oh, it was up in the air. Yeah, it was up in the from air from your pals. Yeah, there was a pole. What is up in the air about? Well, because at the end of the day, now it's like hindsight is fifty fifty. It's like, well, you didn't fuck her. Why didn't you let him fuck her? You Did know? you have any idea? I don't even that think she was out there trying to fuck. I think she was just trying to hang out. You know, so it was just like the the whole thing is that everyone was insinuating that there should have been a fucking angle. Wait, but did, so hold on a second. But you had no idea there was a possible fucking with him. Why are you it? picking no, up the not. word? <laughs> maybe not. Because we're calling it. That's what it is. It's a fucking at this point. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I don't think. Like, I just saw him chatting to her, and I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, oh, let's go. I'm going. I'm gonna give her a lift. You know, he might not give her a lift. Who knows yeah. what? You know. Plus, you don't I want. Don't you don't want. You don't want to story the news. It's like. Famous house DJ found with dead blah blah, blah delivered by Harley Mornstein. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you're like, no, I should have brought her home. Was promised fucking never occurred. <laughs> there was <laughs> definitely no fucking. Can I tell you guys about something that I consider a cock block, even though it may not be a cock block? You tell me what this is. Have you been Bill, married for 18 well, years. Well, see, you know about this. <laughs> I was I was when betrothed when I was born. Uh, but no, you know about this story a little bit. There's a guy that works here. And this, I can't believe this is coming out because this might get a little too personal. No, we'll, it's not. We're trying to be no. as not specific as possible. No one's really gonna watch. But there's it's this okay. girl that uh, that it was that my buddy's very interested in, but he found her on one of those stupid dating apps like a uh, Tinder. You know what I'm talking about? It wasn't Tinder. About. It was um, uh, stupid. The date. The, what's what's that one that people call like Plenty of Fish? That one. And so he oh, should be called Plenty of Fucks, by the way. No, it wasn't Plenty of Fish either. That's the one where it is just fucking, right? Yeah. No, it wasn't that one. It was. Um, I want to find someone, but in a place where I don't have to spend money and everyone's weird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, hey, every, new website, fuckmeplease.com. <laughs> Just that get it out of the way. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so here right now. Uh, he found this girl on there, and he sent her like a message and said, "Hey, I think you're cool. We're, we kind of have a lot in common. It's the one that matches you up with people." Match.com? Not even that one. Fuck I don't know. What Just was go. It? We know what it, it is. Just so anyway, those. sent her a message, <laughs> and she never got back to him. And he was like, oh, this girl, but like she was into so many of the same stuff. She was like a composer or something, all this other really specific stuff. And so I was like, as a good friend, I was like, this guy, I want to make this connection happen. Okay? I want to play the guy that makes this work. And he's very much not into that idea. So what I did was, we kind of, in fact, it wasn't even me. It was someone else that specifically found her online, like Facebook and Twitter. And so, I don't know, maybe that's too far, but I was like, you know what, now that we have her Twitter name, I'm gonna reach out to her and be like, hey, my pal kinda likes you, what do you think, you know, you, do you wanna like but meet you didn't him say or that. something? I didn't, because everyone made such a big deal about it, and then my buddy, who liked the girl, was like, you're ruining it, it's over, it's never gonna happen with this girl if you make it creepy and you fucking hook me up with her this way. And I was like, dude, I'm just trying to be the guy that makes it happen, and so I messaged her and said, hey, I like your videos, I think you're cool. And she was like, thanks. And so I was like, okay, now I'm gonna be like, by the way, you've got, I've got a friend, but it, but it couldn't, my, my pal is like, if you fucking say another goddamn word, I, it's already over. I can't talk to this girl. I can't see her ever again. And that's it. Even though he tried initially and she never got back to him in the first place. So it's basically like the connection was never going to happen. Don't you think I was in the right for at least trying to be the guy that brought them together, the Cupid in the situation? Did you do it? No, because he hated me for it. He was so mad at me for like a week. He was like, remember when you fucking tried to hook me up with that girl? It's like, well, that's the, here's the problem. Is that like you committed to doing it and you started, then you should have finished it. But and you should have you should have less talk, let your actions do the talking. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You should bounce on your dick right now and then shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> But instead, you went halfway, and then you kind of pulled back, and because now, I now felt nobody's bad. happy. But I now, mean, not a single person's <laughs> happy. Not you, not him, not her. You didn't do anything except jump in there and kind of jazz it up a little bit. But see, that was my thoughts. I was like, "What have you got to lose if I make this happen?" Like, the worst that could happen is if she doesn't talk to you, you weren't going to talk to her anyway. You should have done it then. You could have been like, you could have yeah. been like that friend that signed her friend up for the the acting gig or the yeah. modeling yeah. thing, and you just did it, and she hates you for it, but then she gets the gig and she's happy, and you only went half. Way and you should have really just finished it. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it then. Let's do gonna, it right I'm, now. You want to do it right yeah, now? Yeah, let's do it right now, dude. Let's do it right fucking now. Yeah. Wait, do you still have her? I don't know. Twitter? I don't know. We need to remember what her name is. Wait, do we remember what her name I'm is? Just, I just remember. Did you ever do the second step of being like, we really like your music? Yes. My bot really? No, no, no. We didn't do that. But remember, you were gonna be like, yeah. yeah but then halfway, I realized that it's probably creepy. <laughs> 
so I didn't jump in on that. All yeah. right, we're going to really do this. Wait, how long ago was this? It was like maybe a month or two ago. Okay. Or no, shit, it was still in 2013. Wait, are you actually doing it right now? Because I'm just going to yeah. fucking... I think we should do it right now, but I need no, to remember no, no, her okay, name. Okay, uh, this is from... Uh, this is from um, if it's fast, Lord question. Bran. What's the weirdest thing you've eaten? Fucking turtle soup. God damn. Max Vernon. Have you ever thought about opening up your own restaurant? Yes, it would be called Besturant. And that was the most thought I've ever put into it. The biggest pun that's ever come out of his mouth. Not really. <laughs> would you actually ever this, do anything like that, for real? A restaurant? Yeah, no, I, I did think about it. On, on, on the most extreme end, I thought about the Epic Mealtime restaurant that would be on the Las Vegas Strip. Mike Tyson would be out front shaking people's hands. Is that you? No, that's you. You know it's you. Wow, are you trying to blame it on Phil? Really quick? Every some... time. His fucking seat's like. He's <laughs> like, is that you? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? It would be the Epic Mealtime restaurant. It would be on the Las Vegas Strip. Mike Tyson would be out front shaking people's hands. Ninjas would deliver the food. Each item would cost $600 and take 300, uh, three days to make. And uh, every now and then I might drop down from the ceiling like on a real Mission Impossible style right. and dish out shots of Jack Daniels or something like that. I was going to say, like, it's not Jesus. happening though. Why wouldn't that happen? That's fucking brilliant. I don't know. Someone, give me money and do it. I'll come and I'll fucking, <laughs> I'll fucking cut the ribbon to the restaurant. The fact that he just want. keeps shaking his, his head no, and no one will ever uh, watching this be able to appreciate that. Yes, there's a man uh, that looks remarkably close to me behind the camera, shaking his head no. Why is that? Why does he look like you? It's my brother. <laughs> why else would he look like him? No, I know it is. I oh. just thought it would be fun for people to know his brother's here. Oh, this is adorable, Aria Lovely. A question that no one would ever ask. Was there a Lord Bran and now there's an Aria? Like everyone watches Game of Thrones. What's the Venn diagram of uh, Philly D fans and Game of Thrones fans? I don't know. You push Game of Thrones on people or Not what? much. He does. I do, big time. Mm -hmm. I, never, I never read the books. I just watch. Yeah. I actually, I read the first book, watched the first season. I was like, those were so similar that I'm going to ditch the books now. Yeah, uh, that's what I hear, too. Yeah. Although, once the books get deeper, I hear it goes like way off the fucking beat really? path. Big time, yeah. Mm. Uh, we're getting a lot of yeses and noes. Yeah, that's, see. I'm very confused. Do you still watch the show? Are you a fan of the show? Yeah, yeah. It's coming back, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Really, really soon. soon. Source at uh, Adam Harley Place. Do you prefer coffee or tea? What kind of flavor is your fave, least fave? I prefer coffee. I don't even mess with tea. I only like coffee. I like it big and black and inside me. Ladies? <laughs> What's Wait, your thoughts? Almost, do you ever get the questions on this show? Sometimes. Well, yeah, I want to know really quick before you get into yeah, that. Sure. What's your thoughts on boba? What's boba? You know what boba is, dude? It's a drink with like those weird gelatin balls. Oh, bubble tea. Sure. Shit. Yeah. I actually throw it up on the list with olives and cucumbers and oh, all that really? stuff. Yeah. Right. I had it and it's like, oh, what would make drinking better? I don't know, big gelatinous balls inside of yeah. it. It's There's so something bad. fun about it. Do you though. guys remember that drink called Orbits back in the day? Yes! Dude, it was, that was like all a, it was about like, Orbits. It was like a clear soda, okay. but it had like red balls floating yeah. in it, like jelly no, balls. No, it was no, really no. weird. Dude, it was, it was fucking gimmick. magic. It was but magic. But it was cool because you were like young. You're like, oh, this is so cool because it looks weird. I'm going to drink it. Yeah. And it, like it sucks and you're drinking like, mm, I love <laughs> Orbits. It's so cool. Look how cool my drink is. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's exactly what it was. It lasted like four months. Dude, it was like a space future drink, though. Because mm -hmm. you'd be like, oh, dude. This... And that's all it had going for it. Yeah, and you could like spin it around and the balls wouldn't move mm -hmm. at all. It's yeah. like fucking future, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was terrible. Tragic Gumby, what would it take for you to shave your beard? For everyone else, what would it take to shave your head? I've done it before. I just like the way that the fucking uh, shower feels. Yeah. That's yeah. the reason. Yeah. But yeah, I can't do it. And your head gets like cold and wet kind of a little bit after you've had hair for a while. No, you know that? no. I mean, no, it's well, not here. I don't know. It's just, it's nice. It's like, you, it's a different sensation. But uh, I have to like lose a shit ton of weight for it to not look weird. Because yeah. otherwise, my head goes from being kind of big to very, very tiny. Yeah, yeah. You get like the whole penis thing but, going on. The little penis. No, thing? the whole penis thing going on. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's like a penis. Like you have like when you have like you look like a penis head kind of popping out of a body. No. So you're talking about like a thumb. Thing. Yeah. It's a thumb. <laughs> like, it's like I'm a like thumb coming out thinking, of your body. I'm just thinking. I'm like. No, because my my no, my, you shave my, your head dick, bald. my dick definitely looks no, bigger no, when I shave. No, it's like it's like you have your body, you have your body, and then you shave your head bald, and it's like it looks like a thumb popping out of your body. Or no, like, it looks or like a penis. penis. Or like a penis, penis head. head. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. There are probably people that look exactly like a dick, basically. Like their head is the shape of a dick. And you shaved your beard? I this? totally did shave my beard, but it wasn't. I kept the stash. You're not gonna shave this again, though, right? No, this is growing back actually, finally. And also, I had these chops going. But as soon as this gets to like a manageable, like it's not so much of like a gross five o'clock shadow type thing, I'm gonna bring everything and blend everything back into this length. So you just have like three weeks of awkward weirdness? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I wanna do something different, you know? Like yeah. I almost shaved the whole thing off, but it's too fucking weird when I do that. Yeah. 
You're going to shock the fuck out of people when you finally shave. What is he going to do it, though? Yeah, what, I don't know. Well, so what do? happened is... This, the last time I shaved was in February last year. So mm -hmm. my whole thing was like, oh, I'm gonna grow a year. Oh, and yeah. at the same time, I'm trying to grow my hair as well. And so now like, I ha my hair's been growing like crazy and that's, it's fun. And the beard is growing like crazy, but I think I've reached terminal length at my chin. It looks like this is kind of gonna stop and these will grow long. So I'll be one of those dudes that have like the long thing. <laughs> but then you can do the dreads. I could do a million different things. Or you can do the dwarves. Um, and it's also oh, here, yeah. My beard has a beard. Do you see that? Oh I grow a beard God. in my beard. Whoa, weird. I know. We beard in my it's beard a weird. Beard. It is a weird. <laughs> <laughs> so what did it take you to shave it? Touch it. It's Man. fucking weird in there. It's like oily always. Man. Yeah, it's like a thicker hair in yeah, there Yeah, it's too. strange. That's, it's really strange. That's, uh, yeah. So uh, now that it's, uh, it'll be a year in like a week, Holy that's shit. when I decided I, I, I'll stop letting it grow just like mangy beast yeah. for a year. And now I'm gonna like kind of shape it a little bit, you know? Cause like I got a lot of hair back here that doesn't need to be there for it to be a beard. And I'm like, my, like if you put your hand in here, like look, look where my jaw Steve, is. you Let's go for it. Here. I'm tired of touching it. Holy See how it's shit. deep in there, right? There's like a mat also in here. Also high up too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna shape it out a little bit, but I'm not gonna shave it off. Cause I still want it to be there. I still want to have this, you know? Have you this, followed? I still want to have this shit How on my face. How often do you ask people to fucking finger your beard? So much. <laughs> Just it's good, seems, yeah. Like, people will be talking to me, I'll be looking at them in the face, and I'll be like, oh, touch this. Do, do Shut people, up and touch this for a second. Do, <laughs> just shut your mouth for a second. Yeah. Do people ever come up to you and go like, can I touch your beard? But strangers, like, not, yeah, not even yeah, fans. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. No. Uh, it's so weird, wait. right? So wait, yeah. Last question before we, uh, we, we, we mention very candidly and in a regular fashion that you have a poster of yourself right behind you because <laughs> yeah. of the geniuses. Yeah. Uh, who's your, your favorite and least favorite tuber? Okay, <laughs> uh, my favorite my favorite YouTuber? Yeah, sure. Like, per, that's what you're asking people that make videos? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it could be like a Freddy W even though he's still behind the camera a lot, but you know. That's a hard, I wish we took this question from the top, by mm -hmm, the way, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's really deep. I could talk about this for like 45 minutes. So, from the perspective, as a person that strictly watches YouTube videos, mm -hmm. as the fan Harley, okay. that grew up watching YouTube videos, you know, in 2006 when they first came on, and so on and so forth, I'd probably put Freddie W at the top there. Yeah. It's always been my favorite kind of videos. The humor is, uh, is, is right up my alley, and it's, it's very geeky, which is, goes in line with, uh, you know, a lot of things that I enjoy. And uh, even now, we've, we've done a spun-off series called Legend of Muscles Glass. It's literally right. based and inspired off of like Freddie Wong videos, Corridor Digital videos. I like all of those. those. Awesome. You know, as, as a fan, I like those kind of videos. Now, if you want to look at me as someone who who owns a YouTube channel and strives to have something, well, I actually, I look up to you a lot, Phil. I'm not gonna sit here and suck your cock on your fucking show. <laughs> Thank like, you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> but I Philly D, you're a great guy. That beard, probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm but uh, I, I like this. I like this here. You know, Thanks we've so. we've uh, applied a lot of this business mentality to our show as well. You know, when we did handle it, the instructional cooking show, we kind of modeled it a bit after SourceFed. You know, having a bunch of hosts, having right. something that didn't rely on me being on yeah. it to last on its own. What about the other side? Um, yeah. So this and uh, and then on. Uh, on probably my least favorite YouTuber, I'd probably have to put Philly D there as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no, Thank seriously. You so much. Because I follow you on Twitter, and the amount of times I have to sit through your humble brags makes me What want to humble know. brag? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, not a big deal. Just got uh, health insurance for everyone that works at DeFranco <laughs> Corporation Limited 2013. Uh, I'm and, very proud of that. I'm I, so as you should proud. be, as you should be. But listen, you asked my least favorite. It doesn't mean it has to be justified. It might just be pure jealousy. <laughs> I was like, oh, what's up, guys? In Vegas, just bet $3,000 on black. Don't even care if I win. Discovery Networks, what's up? So, <laughs> like, like, I read that. Hashtag I read that. Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, hashtag. Pull those up. We'll get you ask to pull up those tweets. I'm like, like, no, you're one of the biggest when, humble braggers on Twitter. And I'm like, God damn it, that fucking Philly D. I, I hate him. I have to fucking strive to be exactly like Philly D, and I want everyone to know that. <laughs> but yeah, so you probably follow my favorite and least favorite at you the same to, time. You have to just kill me and drink my blood, <laughs> <laughs> and then, then you get the power. <laughs> no, but at the same time, at the same time, you know, I've never, I, I, I didn't really make many enemies outside of, you know, outside of, you know, we're we're pretty we're pretty nice people. We never. Yeah, for the most part. 
we never sat there and I never, like, I kind of wish we had more enemies. There wasn't anyone that I look at their YouTube videos, I'm like, ah, shit. You know, like, I never, I, I would never bash someone's art or anything like that. Like, I might look at someone and be like, no, nah, not for me. Absolutely yeah, not. I feel for like me. it's been a lot less of that since uh, they fixed a lot of the gaming, not all of it, but mm -hmm. like just people that like would rise and you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, like there was a, oh, there was a channel called, it was like Yo Mama or some shit like that, and it was just terrible animated videos. And oh, I, I remember that. Yeah, and it was all based off of Facebook gaming, and yeah. I was just like, I fucking hate this channel. <laughs> and everything. I forget who was behind it. But anyway, I was, that's why I was just wondering. Yeah, no, I, uh, I mean, there's, listen, there's plenty of YouTube channels where I look and I'm like, no, not for me. Yeah. Like, I'll look at a show and I'm like, this isn't something that, that you know, that I could watch or like that that is something that necessarily, you know, makes me laugh or yeah. is interesting to me. But then again, I don't know. I guess I, I am a bit of a fussy YouTube watcher at the yeah. same time, nor am I anyone's demo. I think I'm outside of people's demo. I'm, like, I'm too old now to be like the people that they're making the videos for, I guess. Um, I'm yeah, just gonna, I'm just gonna stare at you until these guys stop staring at me and your poster. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so over here is is a poster that we did, and uh -oh. uh, right, this yeah. one, yeah, this guy. Is yeah, the uh, just come off? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's uh, who, who's what do you sell this one too? <laughs> cool. Last year maybe. What do you got Anyways, in the back this there, is the bro? new one. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I need my camera time. <laughs> Uh, no, so what we did was we made like a, 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 it's like a Jimi Hendrix experience type thing and there's bacon on my beard and there's gay bacon strips that says epic meal time and these over here, these are called real beards so that you know that I'm not gay and like I'm like, look, there's girls there um, and uh, we have our logo and it's really cool and uh, you know, it's, you know, it's awesome because uh, a lot of the profits uh, go towards a good cause, the uh, Philip DeFranco Jet Ski Foundation <laughs> and so... Uh, <laughs> so one day, one day Philip DeFranco could have his own jet ski. Yeah. First, he has to buy a house on a lake. <laughs> what is this eastbound and down yeah. all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, it's cool. Oh, there's also this one too. That's a neat one. <laughs> I'm probably cool. gonna grab some of your posters on the way. I hope yeah. you don't mind. But uh, yeah, there's this one. Nice. Pretty good. And it's scratch and sniff too, right? It smells like bacon. Oh, and do you guys have that technology? Jesus. Yes. Well, it smells like BO and so, beard and. <laughs> you just rub it against your <laughs> face. Gross. What does my. I have a question. What does my beard smell like? Can guys? we get in there? Get in you there. Get you there? get in there too. Don't. Come on. I'm so terrified. I gotta come around. No, oh, fuck my ass. I don't know. It's like a. Did you just fuck up the mic? No, I just hit it with it's my like hat. a. It's like a woody oak. Even like his beard smells like man. I don't know. You know, it's like it is. It's almost like a little bit of sweat too. Yeah, I, I got it with your hat when you came in. It smells like leather shoes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I did that myself. So it's wait. a good smelling beard. You'd think that they wouldn't smell that good. So uh, all right. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> what the fuck is? Hey, stop cock blocking us. Hey, right? hey. <laughs> uh, this no. is my goddamn show. <laughs> Do it. No. Go ahead, guy. You're allowed. I don't know, man. This is so thanks for watching the ver the longest version of Table Talk we've ever done. Um, some would say it's large sized. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say epic, but then I was like, fuck that noise. Yeah, thank um, you. Okay, right, so uh, my name is Philip DeFranco. My name is Harley. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. What do you want me to do? You want to go for it? You want me to do what? Oh, flip the table? I'm allowed? Fuck this! <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> it was like so anticlimactic. So you want to help me compose this text? So this is gonna be this is gonna be a tweet to this girl. Yeah. That so why don't you write my friend? He want to fuck you. Ooh, that's a little too forward, isn't <laughs> Was it? it? My friend, did you go my, in accent? I don't know why my I friend, I want to fuck you. Can we do that. read an accent really quick? <laughs> <laughs> my friend, I want to fuck Just you. Just use an accent. We're right. gonna say here because uh, I want a little bit of Just your Just tag him. Here. Tag him. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna tag him too. And tag her. I oh so okay so I'm gonna say I want you to meet. No, I wouldn't even. I'd like. I, I would just tag him and her and be like, take it from here. And really, that's it. Yeah, be like, you guys got it from here. Well, man, it was cool that you guys used to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the seriously? What's the worst that can happen? Well, uh, uh, like six hundred thousand people are gonna go to your Twitter and just do like a very minimal investigating <laughs> to see exactly who you're talking to. See, but everyone agreed with me here that we should have just done it. Yeah, you know yeah, how we were asking like, me. I'm not yeah. even like. I, I have I have nothing vested in it. Yeah, I'm not Harley's like. Yeah, people. you could probably make that jump. What you I could probably make that jump, I bet. I mean, but how do we do it in such a way that I don't ruin my friendship with my good pal? I don't even think he likes you that much anymore. <laughs> Once this airs, you're pretty much done anyway. Pretty much done. He's right over here. He works here. Well, let's get him on. <laughs> Yay! No. Come on. Bad. This is a bad idea. This is a bad move. All right, it's not going to happen. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens out of it. It's very anticlimactic.